know, we could all learn a good lesson from this fight. The first one, don't judge a book by its cover. Cause this man went from looking like Pillsbury Doughboy to looking like he just got on a parole yesterday. So this is the final form of the Lorax. y'all so i think i've come to a conclusion i think that i've come to the conclusion that this man frieza might be the most disrespected villain in anime like this man has been getting his ass whooped hell he might be the anime villain that's taking the most ass whoopers in history well sh besides like what team rocket them niggas stay getting blasted off every episode shit i ain't gonna cap i'm surprised one of them ain't even dead yet like i'm sorry but if your ass gets sent flying that far nigga you should be dead bones cracked torn acl and everything bruh nurse joy shouldn't even be able to fix that shit. But anyways, back to Frieza. Man, I remember when this man used to be the most feared man in Dragon Ball. I remember when I was watching this shit on Toonami as a kid. When I saw Frieza, I was like, oh, shit, it's Frieza. Everybody get the stepping. I was legitimately scared of this nigga. Well, I'm not gonna cap, though. When they first showed him in his first form, I thought that he was a girl. Hey, 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 hear me out. The voice and everything fooled my ass. You know what? You know what the motherfucker look like? That, that, that one bitch from Power Rangers, Rita Repulsa. Yes, bro, look at their heads. They look the damn same. Shit, my 10 year old ass back then was probably like, oh my God, mom, that's that bitch from Power Rangers. With them ugly ass horns. Shit, I still don't know till this day if that's a hat or that's her actual head. But anyways, y'all remember when this man turned into a second form and he impaled Krillin and started bouncing him up and down on his horn? Not gonna cap the first time I watched this, I was hella uncomfortable. I was like, yo, this nigga Frieza is into some freaky ass shit. Is this how you get turned on? Hey, with it. Yeehaw, that's it. Buckaroo, ride him, cowboy. Bro. Then y'all remember his third form with that long ass head? The nigga looked like a xenomorph. I am pretty sure Toriyama got inspiration from that. Game. And then he turned into his final form, and I'm like, yo, who is this puny ass nigga? The fuck is he gonna do, man? Then he just starts running everybody's shit. Well, until Goku showed up and whooped that ass. Like I am telling y'all, when this man turned into a Super Saiyan, he emotionally scarred Frieza, bro. Like he beat the brakes off this nigga. He beat his ass so bad he probably gave him brain damage. CTE, nigga. That's why his dumb ass probably can't even tell time. Time. Five minutes, my ass, nigga. One hour later. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> Three hours later. I'm gonna slap some sense into you. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I know they're moving at the speed of light. Shit, I'll let him off the hook on this one. Shit, I'll just say it was like seven minutes. Hey, but you know this man Frieza probably felt like a dumbass when he cut himself in half with his own fucking disc. Then this man decided to be petty as hell when Goku gave him energy and tried to kill him. But then Goku sent his ass to the shadow room and basically made him turn into this ugly ass cyborg. Like, I am sorry, but Mecha Frieza is one of the ugliest ass niggas in anime. Like, what the fuck is on the top of his head? Shit looks like a oversized band-aid. And then got King Cole sorry ass right here. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, this man King Cold was just straight up wasted potential. When I first saw this big ass nigga, I was like, oh shit, Frieza got a dad? He gotta be strong as hell. Shit, they get to Earth, this nigga trunks, bruh. He chops Frieza's ass up into some goddamn chop steak, then cooks the nigga well done. And King Cole's sorry ass just got body. This man really turned into this ugly ass cyborg for nothing. Mm, mm, mm. So then this man was stuck in hell in this nasty ass cocoon for I don't know how long. Like, bro, you know this nigga got a stank. Like, this man has been trapped in this nasty ass, musty ass cocoon for shit. I don't know how long. Nigga can't take a shower, take a bath, can't even use goddamn deodorant, can't even brush his teeth. And he's surrounded by all these nasty ass toy animals. Hey, but the nigga gets pushed back, he trains a bit, gets his nice ass gold for him, but then he gets his ass whooped again. Hey, but I'm gonna be real with y'all though. We all know damn well Vegeta should have got this final kill. Like, bro, this man tore me into this man for years and blew up his planet but 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 we gotta remember y'all this is the fucking goku show out of the way vegeta goku! I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I used to call Dragon Ball GT Dragon Ball Goku time. <clears throat> but anyways, the man gets sent back to hell and he gets stuck in that musty ass cocoon again. Well, uh, until Goku shows up and decides to invite his ass to the tournament of power because Boo's ass fell asleep. Hey, yo, how the fuck did this man fall asleep before the tournament, man? Like, dog, man, I was, I was low-key looking forward to that. But good God almighty, this man Frieza probably took one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history. This man Topo ran his shit. You know, we could all learn a good 
good lesson from this fight. The first one, don't judge a book by its cover. Cause this man went from looking like Pillsbury Doughboy to looking like he just got on a parole yesterday. So this is the final form of the Lorax. Remember y'all, you fuck with the forest, you fuck with this nigga. Cause I ain't trying to have no problems with this motherfucker. Also, this fight taught us another lesson as well. Don't talk shit to a person that you don't know. Like for this man was talking all this hot shit. Then he got his shit ran. This man flicked the smallest Hakai and destroyed his supernova just like that. And yo, look at this shit. He punched him so hard, he literally indented his fist into his stomach. Dude literally just blew his back out. I am sorry, but if you get hit like this, you're probably never gonna eat anything else in your life. Like your intestines are gone, G. Yo, look at this shit. Oh my God. Look how he just picked his little measly ass up with his hand, bruh. And just crushed this nigga's head like a raisin. Oh my god, yo, his brain gotta be crushing right now, bro. This is just adding to his CTE at this point. <laughs> then he just kicked his ass to the side like he ain't shit, bro. Oh my god. I hope we all learned these two valuable lessons that we learned from this ass moment. Number one, don't judge a book by its cover. And number two, don't talk shit to somebody that you don't even know, bruh. Because you don't know what the fuck they gonna do to your ass, dog. But dear God, the worst was yet to come for this man. This man Broly whooped his ass for an hour straight. Imagine getting your ass kicked by this big ass motherfucker for 60 minutes straight, my guy. <laughs> Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! Dude was stomping his ass out! Hey, yo, go come Vegeta the low-key dirty when they did the freezer though. Nigga said, have fun, freezer! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they really left this man to get his ass whooped for an hour, bruh. Hey, but yeah, he kind of deserved it, though. I mean, he did kill his fucking dad. Broly, look! Niggas be wildin'! Hey, yo, I love how Weiss was basically watching this the whole time, though. Man was like, Psh, not my problem. But yeah, man, you know, this man Freeze has been going through it lately. I mean, he does deserve all this shit, though. Hey, but look at the bright side, though. Watching Freeze get his ass whooped is very entertaining. I don't know why, when I was watching the Broly movie, watching Freeze get his ass whooped was like a spectacle. I was like, damn, that shit was funny as fuck. But anyways, y'all, uh, let's pray for Freeza. Uh, let's press F to pay respects. I mean, if you want to, though. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Yeah.